three reasons why you must buy this listing. Number one, you are right next to the upcoming MRT station. Number two, you are within one kilometer to a good primary school. And number three, you have huge upside potential right in your vicinity. So stay tuned to find out more. Hi, welcome back to another episode with Liz with Aaron Tracy. I'm Tracy. I'm Eric from ERA, and today we are going to show you a nice two bedroom unit at the, the Bay Shore. Shore. Okay, so this unit is 947 square feet, two bedroom, two bath, and have a big kitchen and yard area. Yes, owner has done renovation three years ago and spent more than 100 over thousand to rehaul and overhaul this whole place. It's yes. a major transformation. Yes, you don't want to miss this. Let's go. So let's check it out. So here we are at the unit. Wow. So this is a two bedroom, nice. 947, nicely renovated unit just three years ago by the owner. Basically, they, they hack away everything change the pipe, change the aircon, literally rip off everything and what you are saying is just a brand new 3 years old house Yeah, they can't see it yet, they can yeah, only yeah. hear you talk yeah. So now, show you around the house Alright, come right, The moment you enter, plenty of storage space down here <laughs> Plenty of storage space down here You can see this cross ventilation, there's a very nice window here that allows the wind to cross through, right? Yeah, so you got good lightings and cross ventilation, okay? With this window down here yeah. I think you explore the kitchen first. Come, let's take a look at this kitchen. You know that this kitchen is actually very different from what you see in the Bay Shore because the owner actually hacked off this whole kitchen and look at the little details that they have put in, the rounded corners. You know, the like feng shui, we don't like the jam jam corner, you know, this is a rounded one. And they also put a lot of storage space which you can put all your jars and or jam or whatever. Lah. So very good um, use of space here. And they also change the tiles into the black and white tiles so it actually give you a feel that is another dimension or not, not dimension another location altogether, another area yeah so owner actually give a very good thought to this kitchen on how they want to lay out the original layout for the bay shore is the kitchen in bay, the bay shore right the sink is actually here and the cooker hood and hob is on this side but they have done it in such a way that they put their induction cooker here uh, because, and they didn't do a cooker hot because of the open window here. So, you know, with this good size window, it actually gives you natural ventilation. And, you know, if you are someone who cook, usually it's like, wow, very stuffy, very hot, you know. But with this, you can cook and then still feel very chill. Yeah. So, over here, you can see it's all done up with a lot of storage space. And the owner also have done up uh, like a more like a flush design with the fridge, oven, and the pantry area all together here. So it's a really very functional kitchen. Eh? And moving on behind this door, ta-da! This will be the yard area. Oops. <laughs> this will be the yard area. If you realize that most of the two bedroom today doesn't even come with a yard. So this come with a yard and a storeroom. So actually, if you clear this space, you can even top it up, put a door, you can even top it up as a mid's room, right? Then of course, you can see this space here, we can put in a washer dryer. But if you are someone who loves to separate the washer and dryer, you can actually do a stack out here. We have more than enough space. Now of course, hanging of clothes, you can do a retractable hanger just right on top of where I am here. And again, natural ventilation. So this house really has a lot, a lot of ventilation, natural ventilation and a lot of natural lighting too. Come, let's take a look inside. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to show you the living room. Okay, the best part of the house. You can see it's so big. Beside a big couch TV, this area you can even have a grand piano or a mahjong table down here. Huh? So I, I love the full glass window panel that open up to very nice greenery view. And from far, you can still see a little bit of the sea view, okay? And, and you can see some ships over there. Oh, so we are facing inward, so you don't really have any traffic noise at all. And all you can see, if you are sitting down here, will be the nice greenery view at this level. Right, you can see this is a very big couch. I, I love this couch. You see, Tracy, I, I transformed this is a uh, Marcel, okay? It doesn't come with a house, but you must see this. <laughs> 
I love this. I must get this for my new house. <laughs> oh, you can just lay down here and enjoy the TV and enjoy the view. Yeah, day. man. So, and, and you do realize that we didn't really turn on the lights in the living room. It is still bright enough. Yeah, natural lighting itself is great. And if you look at this uh, TV console. TV console, yes. Yeah. People who are used to the Bayshore layout, yeah, you know that. Um, There's some a little of the bit of odd corners, corners down yes. here. So to minimize that, the designer actually built in this nice TV wall, TV console area. Yeah. And you can see there's no messy wire, everything is hidden yeah. or very nice clean. You don't see any of your those TV set top box down here at all because yes. it's all well hidden. hidden. Behind yeah. here, you create a new extra storage space and all the wires is chucked inside there. Can I take Oh, <laughs> it's tap tap. Ta -da! Oh, so everything is inside here. Yeah, so it's very very smart design, you know, like to put all your remote, all your things, the control inside, but outside it looks so clean and so flush. Flush nicely. Flush nicely. <laughs> like no yeah. no odd lines. Yeah, so I think the designer did a good job. You can buy and this come with it. Come, let's take a look at the common toilet. This is a newly done up renovated um, toilet. So it's the color of a grey, light grey and white. So generally it's very modern. And what I personally like is here, not the shower. This window, yeah. So this natural window, you know, is very rare in a two bedroom today. So it has a very big piece of window that gives you natural ventilation. So this is a great, so you don't have a more problem in this toilet, as you can see. Yeah, let's take a look at the next room. So now we are here will be the common bedroom, okay. The owner actually created additional um, storage space. So they create this big wardrobe space down here. And on my left here, there's still another big row of cabinet space out there. So of course, they use this as their study room. They have a very nice day bed for them to chill out after a day of work. And they cleverly put the study table just right at the window here. Full glass window panel again. And when you're working here, you actually have a very nice sea view and greenery view. Right. One of the best places in this house is the master bedroom. All right, the owner has kept it very simple and clean. So they have the built-in wardrobe here. The room size itself, you can actually fit in a king size with the side table, no problem. And you still have this little corner here that they use it as a dresser. So of course, if you don't want to use it as a dresser, you can actually build extra. And you can see that this distance is so huge. You can even put like a little couch that you can sit here and enjoy, you know, take a look at the view. Because this view from here, if you look from here, it's actually also a lot of greenery and you can see some sea view from the corner. So whichever, if you put your headboard here, you actually see a lot of green on this side. So wake up to a sea of green. And for young couples, if you're planning to have a newborn baby, this area definitely mm. can fit in. One baby called two baby called. <laughs> <laughs> One baby called two. That sounds very scary. So even you have time. a twins, also no problem. <laughs> Can yeah. fit in nicely. That's true. That's true. <laughs> then uh, there's one thing I really love about this house is the master bathroom. Look at that! It's so big. Woohoo! It's almost like you, you can actually put dual sink if you want, you know. But of course, the owner use this as a dresser. Then this will be the single sink. They remove the bathtub, the old bathtub which nobody uses nowadays. And you have such a big shower area. And like what Tracy mentioned earlier, you also have a very big window down here. So that gives you the natural light and ventilation. So again, no more problem. The Bay Shore is sitting location is at the Bay Shore Road and we are just right next to the Bay Shore. MRT, which is part of the Thomson East Coast Line. The Bayshore is sitting on a huge land size of almost 415,000 square feet and it's a full condo facilities condominium. Accessibility wise, we are easy connected to the East Coast Park, which will bring you to the Changi Airport and also to the city town centre. Recreational wise, there is an underpass that will lead you to the East Coast Park. In terms of school or education wise, we have within one kilometer Tamasek Primary, 
and within the vicinity we also have the Budok Green Primary, Yunnan, Red Sostrika and even the Opera Estate Primary School. Tertiary education, we have the Tamasek Junior College, Tamasek Poly and the SUTD University. Shopping wise, we have the Bedok Mall, Siglap Shopping Centre, Jewel at Changi, as well as the Changi City Point. Hey, how? Tracy, yes. so now you have seen the unit, how do you find it? Well, I really love it and it's so nicely renovated. The buyers can literally just bring their luggage and move in immediately. They maintain the place really so well and it's so nicely renovated. That's right. Every small detail is important. Correct, it's like spotless also. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people also mentioned that buying a resale flat will not make money. Actually, I don't think that it's 100% true because um, the location actually play a major part in this. Yeah, and we also, besides the location, we also have to look at the transformation and the upside potential that it's coming together with the place. So if you remember the five steps that we mentioned before in our earlier video that teach you how to spot a good property for investment, yes. this property definitely has many things. Okay, with the MRT just next to you, with the good school, with the new MOP flat, the BTO flat and new housing coming up and plenty of tenant pool in this area, this place is set to have a very positive enhancement to your property yeah, value. Major transformation. Ma major transformation in this area and that will add value to your property right. while you enjoy your stay here. Correct. So, if you like what we have just shown you, just feel free to give us a call. Uh, I'm Tracy. I'm Eric here. Yeah, remember and to like and share this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, so till then, see you. See you. Bye. Bye.